Today's video is about twist sauce. Yeah, one of my subscribers used that term. Hey Tom, I don't see any twist sauce on that uh, kick serve, top spin serve, American twist serve. They're all pretty much the same. But when I think of an American twist, I think of the ball, you know, you're serving, you use a right hander would use the American twist, serving to the ad court and trying to pull his opponent out wide so that when the ball bounces, it kicks out this way. It kicks out to the opponent's left, okay? So the ball's gonna bounce and kick out so you pull them out wider. Now there's players that, are, that use this all the time. Jack Sock has a nice kick serve. I remember on the women's side, Samantha Stozer had a beautiful kick serve. And um, if you can, you know, get close to the line with a good angle, you're really pulling your opponent way off the court. So it sets up the perfect scenario for a serve plus one. Because when you pull them out wide, you've got the whole court now. And if you, you know, run around the, and hit your forehand down the line, there's very little they can do about that. And that happens a lot. You know, your opponents know what you're trying to do. Hey, I'm trying to hit you a, an American kiss, uh, American twist serve, kick you out wide so I can go big with my forehand. So, you know, it's a matter of execution. That's the key. Can you execute that kick serve out wide, bouncing up high with tons of spin? So the twist saw that that twist sauce that he was talking about, you have to learn to come at the ball from a different angle. As an example, okay, when you're trying to hit a flat serve, okay, your racket is coming, you know, pretty much boom, straight into the ball. You may get a little spin if you want extra control, but you're hitting it pretty flat. Your racket's going forward. You're leaning into the serve. When you hit the kick serve, your racket is going up, okay? It's, it's not going forward as much. You're trying to get that racket to move up that's the key. Now you're going to be leaning in a little bit, so it's not like you don't have any forward movement because you're always leaning into the court when you hit your serve. You should be. But it's very little compared to when you're hitting that first serve where you're really going forward with the racket and your body. With the kick serve, you're going up with your body and slightly in. So that's going to be key for you. And if you look at it from this angle, okay, first serve, you're coming in kind of flat. You could brush a little to get some added spin for control. But when you come at the ball on this kick serve, now you're coming from here and you want you want your arm in this position here so you can really snap up as you hit so you want to snap up you're leaning in slightly but you're snapping up more than anything else the other thing you want to remember on the kick serve or the American twist or the top spin serve the toss can be slightly over the head. Now, some people will go way back. And when you go way back, you can get more spin. You can pull the ball out wide even further. That makes me think of people like uh, Stefan Edberg, who tossed the ball way back over his head. He had tremendous 
back lean when he hit that serve. Uh, Nikolai Davidenko had a nice kick serve. Samantha Stozer, Jack Sock. They lean back and they really go up on it and they get that kick out wide. So why is this serve so difficult? The main reason it's so difficult because the edge of your racket has to go by the ball. It has to get by the ball, but very close to the ball. That's why when you're first learning this serve and you're going up, sometimes you'll hit the ball. You'll hit the, the frame of the racket will hit the ball. You didn't quite, you know, keep it back enough so you could get by the ball before you caught the strings. So, you know, if you frame the ball, it's not such a bad thing. It actually means that you're getting close to getting the idea of hitting a kick serve. So the frame of the ball, uh, the racket rather, I'm sorry, the frame of the racket goes by the ball very close. Then you lean in, you pick up the ball and snap that wrist up, almost straight up. Yes, you are leaning in slightly. So that's why it's so difficult. So don't feel bad when you frame the ball. Think of that as a good sign. I've seen Stefan Edberg. I think he won, I don't know how many Grand Slams, but plenty of them. And I've seen him frame the ball on his second serve because he would go by that ball so close to get that spin. So that's what you need to do to create it. Let me show you a few serves and I'll show you what I mean. Okay, let's take a look at some of the fine points in slow motion here. Now notice when I come up with the toss, I'm gonna start to lean back. Right there as I go to the platform. Now that ball is clearly over my head. And the racket now, I'm gonna start snapping my forearm and wrist. Right there, the edge of the racket is going by the ball. I'll lean in a little as I get past right there. Notice the height on the ball right now. This is one thing that people have to work on, aiming higher when they start this kick serve. The ball's over the net now. Look at the height there. Spin, of course, is going to pull it now down into the box. And here... I get some decent kick. The fence here is eight feet and that went up close to seven feet, kicked up. So not too bad for an old guy. Okay, so here I'm going out wide. Notice how I've moved to my left along the baseline to give me a better angle to hit out wide. So I'm really trying to get this toss back over my head so that the ball kicks out even wider. Okay, again, the arm is ready to snap up now. From here, I'm just thinking straight up right there. Notice too that I'm pronating. Look at my racket hand out to the fence towards the right side. But again, look at the height of the ball clearing the net. Now there I get it out wider and I had some decent kick on this one as well. Well, I hope you enjoyed that video. Please give me a like, a thumbs up, and please subscribe to the channel. Remember, it's all about the angle that you're coming at the ball.
the angle at which the racket is approaching. You don't want too much forward. You want the edge to go by the ball and the racket's basically going straight up. You're leaning in slightly. All the best to your tennis success. Take care.